Hello, welcome to another tutorial from Design From Within. Uh, this time I would like to show you how to set up Babel. Uh, with Babel uh, you can uh, make your ModX website uh, multi-language. In my example I'm going to create a website for English, Dutch and German with a nice link to change between the languages. Alright, let's get started. Um, of course we're using ModX. Please visit the nice new website modx.com about information about modx. I simply downloaded the latest revolution version and installed it. The plugin we're going to use is Babel. You can find it here. rtfm.modx.com slash display slash add-on oh, slash Babel. Let me go back there. There we go. Um, and this is uh, an extra uh, that will help you manage your multilingual website. It's a really, really nice plugin by Max Paprikas, and uh, but the, the explanation is not that not not that extensive. So that's why I created this post on my blog, Design from Within. Please visit it if you want, designfromwithin.com. Um, and I already created a tutorial previously. Later, I added this text tutorial with all the steps and all the code you need in this tutorial. Um, so now I'll add a video as well. Okay, what we're going to create is this. Uh, it's a really basic website, I'm starting it, modxtutorials.com and, and as you can see there are links here to different languages. If I, we're now in English, just the default.com, but if I click on German, the site goes to modxtutorials.com slash de for Deutsch. The language has changed to German and the content has changed to Deutsch. If I click on Dutch, Hollandish, everything will change again. It's English, German, Dutch. These are not translated yet. The content is Dutch and it says modextutorials.com dash NL. On the back end, it looks like this. We have resources, we have web, that's the default content, and that's English as you can see. We have German, Deutsch, and Dutch, Netherlands. Alright, where do we get started? Um, first of all, you will need a clean installation of ModX. Once you have that, I suggest you simply go to your root folders. I have them here. After install, you should have something like this. A folder, maybe public.html or something else, doesn't matter. With files like these, assets, connectors, core, manager, setup. And you will probably have an ht an .ht access file or an ht.access file. I suggest you open it in your code editor. And you should check firstly this one, the first line here, rewrite engine on, um, rewrite base, and then a dash. If your website is not in the root, so maybe you have yourwebsite.com slash uh, my site, then you will need to add your subdomain here, my site for instance, if you have a subdomain. I do not, my website is on the root, it's modx.com, so I can leave it like that. Okay, if you scroll down, you will see um, a rewrite your domain. I like to use this. Um, if somebody goes to www.modxtutorials.com, I would like them to be re redirected to modxtutorials.com without the www. I like this one. Uh, you can change it to this one if you want, if you want people to be at www.yourwebsite.com. I don't really think you need that anymore. So you can fill this in. As you can see, I added modxtutorials.com and here as well. Okay, scroll down a little bit more and this is the new code we need. What we do need is a redirect. Um, if the website is in a subfolder, for example English, the link to our favicon or our assets folder will be wrong. So we have to redirect them and that goes with this code. So this code line here says if, if there's a subfolder English, Dutch, or German, please redirect to the root. The same thing for English, Dutch, German, slash assets, please redirect to just assets. And finally, if there's any link with this in front of it, simply redirect to the base of the website. So this code should be added to your .htaccess. 
If your file is called ht.access, please add the code, change this rewrite base if you need it, and save it as .htaccess, and upload it to your site, and remove the old ht.access file. Okay, if that's done, you can go back to your website. So you upload it via FTP, for instance, your file here, to a .htaccess file, and you remove the old ht.access file. Go to your system backend, go to system settings, click on filter by area, and open friendly URL. If you scroll down a little bit, you see these two, use friendly URLs and use friendly alias path. They should both be set to yes, so please check those. Okay. What the next thing we're going to need is you need to go to Elements, Plugins, open it, and create a new plugin. I already created it. So click here on New Plugin. And this plugin we will need Gateway. And you need to enter this code. I have it in the text editor here. It's this code, it's just some PHP. Um, and just copy it from my website. And as you can see here, uh, I'm scanning for a culture key and if it finds it and it's NL, Dutch, then the context should be switched to Nederlands, Dutch. If it's DE, then it should be switched to Deutsch, German. And if it's neither of those, then it's probably default and that is web, so then we don't need to do anything. If you have a different language of course, like French, maybe this is FR, then you need to add, add your context here. We will add that in a second. So that's our code, that's our gateway code. So simply paste that in and make sure you call it gateway. Before you save it, please go to system events, scroll down a little bit, or quite a lot actually, till you see on handle request and add that here. On handle request, don't forget that one. And then you can save it and we have a gateway plugin. Okay, next thing we're gonna need. We're gonna need some context. Context are these things, web, Deutsch, and Dutch. It's actually like a, uh, an extra version of your website. Go to system, context. And as you can see, I have them here already, Nederlands and Deutsch. But first click on your web, right click on it and update context. Web is your default English or whatever language you are, default of course, uh, default content. Update context, and if you go to context settings, yours will probably be empty, and you will need to add all of these. Um, you simply click on create new, and add the fields. Uh, I've opened them here, so you can find them better here. These are the fields. Um, let me show it. As you can see, for the base URL, so call it, let me enter it for instance, this is what I'll add. Base URL, the key is base URL, the lexicon is language, and the value is English. Because that's my default content. If your default language is different, please change this, of course. And then you can save it and you have created your base URL. All right. And just simply change it to whatever you need. Oh, actually, as you can see, the base URL should just be a dash. If your site is in a root folder, this should be dash uh, your site, for instance. You know? So, depends on your situation. Then add also a culture key, as you can see, and call it English, as you can see here. Um, and, and, and add a site start. Um, the default site start is always one, because that's our starting page. For Deutsch or Dutch, it's a different number, as you can see, and it will be different for yours as well. Um, you can fill in anything. After you created the context, you can create your home page, and then you will know this number. So you might have to change this later, but we'll get back to that. The site URL is our default site. Uh, in my case, it's simply molextutorials.com. If I go to a different context, oh, sorry, different context. 
for instance Dutch and go to contact settings you will see here that it's the same but with dash NL here my site start is 12 as you can see because my starting page for Dutch is 12 culture keys NL and the base URL is dash NL instead of this one the default English one is just a dash because that's in our root and I also call this context Nederlands that's Dutch with a capital N please check this that this matches with your gateway this name as you can see here Nederlands it should be the same as your context name same for here for the Deutsch okay so you have created your context how many you like I added just Dutch and German and I added some values for the web make sure for each context that you have these values base URL culture key site start site URL okay once you added those um, you can go to security access controls and right click on anonymous update user group and context access tab and here you will need to add your contexts um, once you have them already it's really easy to choose it so just choose Dutch for minimum role select member and for access policy select load only and do the same thing for each of your contexts so once you're finished you should have web and your other contexts that you might need the web will have load list and view the other ones will not unless you want those views to have also maximum access to everything um, but I assume that your default language will be the language of your, uh, your admin or your manager so please change this to this one if you need it okay save it top right you can clear your cache now and the final step is to go to system package management click download extras and search for Babel um, I already have it downloaded but you should see a link here download and once you download you click on finish and then you can click on install here um, let me show you uh, let me first uh, reinstall it you get this screen accept it click next you can read this if you want um, click next again and you should see here in this setup options web Deutsch and Dutch that's those are the contacts you already created if you if you miss one uh, please add them here and please check that the names are correct with what you added in your, uh, your uh, gateway plugin the rest you can leave default for now and simply click finish it will reinstall your screen could look a little bit different press ok and now you can clear cache again ok if you now go to resources you, you probably will see this no pages for your, for your other languages yet but if you click on your home page new buttons will have appeared for your other languages and as you can see I have already created the translation uh, yours will say make a translation and once you do new pages will appear under your new language so if you click on German for instance this is the same page as the home for English but in German um, and you can add your German content here you can change everything you want just the normal way like you're used to and just create some pages for your foreign languages now let's view the page you should have you should have the same default is your default site in English and if you enter DE or your language of course that you chose you should have a different language and if you click on Dutch in my case we get the Dutch content finally how do you get these links for the languages um, well those are in your template uh, I put them in my base template here you usually will put them in your header simply add this code UL Babel links UL let me copy it I'll add it to 
this one. Uh, this will automatically create Babel links to your template. So please add, add them somewhere you need them. All right, I hope you found this useful. Um, we have created a nice website, at least a multi multilingual part of the Modix website uh, using Babel. So thank you very much for watching.